This is Gplates.910, the most exciting release to date. Gplates.910 contains a host of new features that will allow novices and experienced users alike to take plate tectonic reconstructions to a whole new level. Powerful yet easy to use, the new Import Raster dialog takes you through the process of bringing rasters into Gplates. Gplates now handles multi-band rasters and you can also specify georeferencing. To save you time, all of this raster metadata is saved in a GPML file. As a major new piece of functionality, Gplates can now reconstruct present-day rasters back in time. Simply load up a rotation file and a static polygons file. Then, using the new Layers dialog, connect the raster layer to the static polygons. You can then enter the time that you want to go back to, or click the play button to view an animation rendered in real time. For smoother reconstruction, you can also connect an age grid to the raster layer. Don't worry if you don't have an age grid or a static polygons file. We've provided sample ones with the data bundle that comes with Gplates to help get you started. In addition to commonly used image formats, Gplates can now load NetCDF rasters for grids of numerical values. View them as is, or supply your own CPT file for customised colouring. You can now load multiple rasters into Gplates at the same time, and reorder them using the Layers dialog. When cloning a feature, it can be hard to differentiate between the original feature and the cloned feature. To help with this, a creation time is now displayed in the clicked feature table. There is a new half-stage rotation reconstruction method. Use this with mid-ocean ridges to have them move with respect to a left and a right plate. Last but not least, the new Snap Nearby Vertices tool makes digitizing related geometries easy. Gplates is, and will always remain, open source software. Download your free copy today for Windows, Mac and Linux from www.gplates.org. We hope you enjoy using Gplates, the next generation tool for interactive plate tectonic reconstructions.